with the new expansion they gave us some new named enemies so i'm gonna show you 11 locations of named enemies in warlords of new york as well as give you some tips on how you can farm them and a few other things at the end of this video so let's take a look at the first location so here is the first one this one is in two bridges i'm sure a lot of people know about this one but i'm going to include it anyway since i want to include everything that i know where these named enemies spawn so this was the first one for me that i found and farmed the second one is in battery park and it's also a quite popular one but i wanted to include it so you can see there was a storm going but they are there in the distance i had to kill the other npcs just so that i can show the location so the, there are two enemies here the next one is also in battery park quite close to the one that i just showed let's open up the map and you can see where it is located right there in the middle moving on this one is also in battery park near a little boat they're just hanging out here it's also close to a control point and you can spawn there quite easily so let's take a look where this location is at right there in the little spot next to the boat so let's move on to the next location for the next location okay there you can see is the boss it's just chilling and fighting the other npcs also close to a travel point financial district so just look out for that one you should be good to go here is another boss or named enemy i'm not sure if they're called named bosses or named enemies but you can see here they are just close to that objective that you need to complete sometimes they'll spawn there sometimes they don't so let's take a look at the next one this one was right in the middle of a road and they were patrolling there as well i think this is two bridges but it might is right on the border but we'll see how it goes quite close so there is another boss or named enemy this one is really close to a safe house or a spawn point so it's quite easy to get to doesn't take you very long so you can just farm it here the bosses do spawn just to the right of this named enemy that i'm looking at the next one is close to a billboard just look out for the billboard they should be underneath it it's also at two bridges just take a look at the location and you should be able to find it quite easily this one was probably the most easiest to find for the next one this one is a bit hidden in between buildings but you will be able to find it once you see the location on the map so it's right there in the middle of everything and for the last boss this one is my favorite i usually run to this one and just do it by farming it every 30 minutes so let's take a look here it's right in the middle of that little triangle now i want to dive into some tips that i discovered while farming these bosses so that you don't get confused and so that you can farm it more efficiently when it's your first time farming these named enemies there will drop some extra cards that you can collect for the snitch i think and it will add some lure to the named enemies it will tell a bit about their story but once you farm all of these, these cards they won't drop anymore but you will still get the loot and you will be able to find the exotic once you farm them so when you don't see cards don't panic it's fine you will be able to find the exotic still i farmed mine until the cards was done and only after it my lady death dropped so it took quite a while and i was kind of discouraged after a while but just keep farming you will eventually get it these enemies will respawn every 30 minutes so make sure you visit a location of a named enemy every 30 minutes a lot of people think that these named enemies is location based and that if you form one location you can jump from another location and find a new boss there it isn't like that when you form one location and you kill that boss it means your whole world goes on cool cool down 
and no named enemies will spawn in your world for 30 minutes. So you might as well just farm one location, different locations doesn't matter. Like let's say I go from two bridges to battery park and there's also enemies there. You won't find two named enemies in the same location or in a different part of your world. It just doesn't work like it. So when you kill a named enemy, just wait 30 minutes. You don't have to go look somewhere else to find them as well since I tried it and it doesn't work like that at all so just wait your 30 minutes and come back later there's also a misconception where you can clear the area and they will respawn or the world will reset if you clear an area around them it's not like that I tried it it doesn't work like that it's just gonna take you 30 minutes to clear that area and once you clear it they are going to respawn so it's definitely not like that as well if there is an activity at the location where the named enemy spawns then just go to go to that location sometimes the named enemy will be fighting the activity so let's say there's two factions of different npcs they will be fighting each other just look around for your named enemy and they should be able to be there and you will be able to kill them quite quickly because they are busy fighting another faction so look out for that when you see there's an activity don't think it doesn't spawn there just go there and you'll see sometimes they do even spawn on that location and two activities are there at the same time so which that is quite interesting to me and i found out that quite early so i was quite happy that i found that out i also have a favorite location to, to farm at and that is my my best location is probably the battery park location since it there is three enemies quite close to each other i think there's one at the boathouse and one in the middle and then there is also one at the little off to the side in the triangle so it's quite easy to farm there since there are three named enemies but like i said you can't just farm enemies over and over again you have to wait your 30 minutes and once you kill one named enemy the whole world goes on cooldown so don't go running around looking for them they won't spawn i did try this so just be sure do not waste your time go do something else maybe form a mission go form the bullet king go form that imperial holster i think the one that gives you fire damage or something go form that and do something else with your time until the 30 minutes is over i also reformed the lady death once i got it but i did transfer it to a new character so that i can reform it i don't know if it works like this but it did work for me in that way so when you farm for lady death remember that these named enemies doesn't respawn it takes 30 minutes for them to respawn and once you do it just remember that they won't be anywhere else in your world remember to clear an area if they don't spawn just clear an area fast travel to a new area then come back and they should be able to spawn since they do sometimes not spawn at an area and then it can be quite frustrating so just clear the area maybe there's like three npcs just hanging out there just clear it then spawn to a new district and come back to the area and they should be able to spawn or at least that is what i have found out also if there's an activity just go to the activity the named enemies might be fighting there with the activity so just do that and my favorite location is battery park just farm those three bosses and to reform the the lady death just put it in your inventory move it to a new character that seemed to work for me so that is all that you need to know because you watched till the very end i decided to make a handy little map for you so you can just pull it up and see all the locations of the named enemies so here is the map on the screen i am going to put it in the description i'm going to find a way to share it so that you can download it and then use the map to your advantage so to reward you for watching till the end i'm going to provide you with a map so hope you enjoy that map and hope you find your exotic just like I did. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos from me, 
then you can subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.